First time on camera, two birds kissing. Parrots Anafi and DJI Mavic Air to just be friends. Alright, so hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to provide you a hardware comparison between Parrot's latest drone, Anafi, and DJI Mavic Air. And let's go ahead and do this. Basically, let me tell you more about what I'm going to show you in the video. I'll weigh them, I'll fold and unfold them, I'll compare the remotes, I'll compare the cases which are here, I'll compare the charging units and I will also have a word about the propeller guards. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and compare these guys. Let's first talk about the drones themselves. This is Anafi and this is Mavic Air. Looking at Anafi, let me unfold it for you. It's rather easy to unfold Anafi. And here is how you unfold Mavic Air. This is also not that tricky, but still there's the extra part. So basically the propellers, as you can see, are larger on Mavic Air compared to the Anafi. Maybe this is the best. I mean, I'm sorry about the choice of background, but this is our kitchen aisle and this is the best place I have so far. Okay, so as I showed you how we fold and unfold them, let's go ahead and check the other components of the body. So this is Mavic Air, as I told you, and for, for takeoff, it has this extra spots. I think it helps with the takeoff, yeah, and puts the drone in balance, yep. And Anafi does not have that, or it's already by default here, and it's not collapsible. Looking at Anafi's, I think, looking at Mavic Air's, this uh, lens cover, I am actually jealous. Look, this is a beautiful lens cover. The lens is here, and it's a whole piece, and it's a rather large piece. Whereas when we come to Anafi, and if I can manage to put it, back in place come on yep when we look at anafi here it is it's just a very simple plastic cover so you need to really go in there and take it i mean my hands are not as subtle i think you already understood that so it's not that easy for me look i already dropped it um this thing if you lose it it's actually not that bad because in the cover there's still the soft side that it will land on but i still am favorable about mavic air's more com more you know uh user friendly way of guarding the lens look the lens guard is pretty good i mean i think i require some practice to put it back but the lens guard thing goes to the mavic air um another thing the battery is here when it comes to mavic air the charger is unfortunately a proprietary cable whereas in anafi this oops sorry this is actually just you just use a proper usb cable is this usb c yeah i think it's usb c and this is the battery sizes comparison and they both offer battery indicators when they are not fully charged Oh, they are fully charged actually that's interesting i knew that anafi was fully charged but this was a surprise to me okay i'll still give it some more charge time before testing the battery because i think the indicator was not that correct but anyways i think when it comes to the ease of charging and not having the proprietary cable the charging related stuff goes to parrot's anafi and i believe well i did not test these but on the internet, I see that this battery with this drone will also give us five more minutes of flight time, which is important if you think that the overall flight time is around the 20 minute mark for both guy, both of these guys. So it's like, what, 20%-ish increase? Oh, by the way, let me tell you about how I got hold of these. So if you didn't already watch that video yet, please go ahead and watch my Parrot Anafi launch event. That's actually how I got the drone as well. I was invited to their launch event. It was a beautiful, beautiful event. There was a presentation as well, and I ended up grabbing one of those demo units. Whereas the DJI actually comes from this website called XP's, 
and they deliver you some of your electronics easily. So if you're interested in that, just ask me questions. I can even make a devoted video about XPs. But now, what else can I say about the body? I think the most important thing is the weight. Let's go ahead and weigh these guys. Parrot's Anafee is 316 grams compared to DJI Mavic Air's total of 433 grams. This is my smart pillbox which just intervenes. Uh, yep, by the way, if you want to watch the video of the smart pillbox, go ahead and find it on my channel. So, if we just make it to zero, basically the difference, the weight difference between the two is a solid 118 grams. So, form factor, I think initially Anafi is the winner, but there will be some more things to say about it. All right, let leave the, let's leave the main bodies for a while and talk about the remotes. Parrot's remote does not have an on and off button like you see on Mavic Airs. It's just when you do this, it's on, whereas with Mavic Air, you need to actually command the thing. With Parrot, by default, the antenna unfolds, so you don't need to do this as you do in Mavic Air. And with Mavic Air, actually the installation of the thing is a little bit more complicated. You know, you plug in these, this and that, so there is some more ground to cover when it comes to that. Yeah, you need to screw it into place, whereas we were already ready with um, Parrot's remote. But, of course, now I will also weigh the remotes for you because I have this feeling that this is a lot lighter than the other one. Okay, let's bring in the scale back. Zero. This one, 227. And this one... <laughs> 394 so 227 plus 394 actually gives us a <laughs> higher overall weight no am i mistaken yeah 390 versus so the difference is 130 and it was almost the weight difference between the two interestingly the weight discussion is surprising because Interesting. I didn't think of the overall weight. I was always considering the drone's weight, but in the overall portability section, then Mavic Air makes an advance. I still think this is easier. But anyways, we're not there yet. I'm just presenting you what I have here. All right, let's send the scale back to... Oof, I shouldn't be as rough on my scales. But anyways, let's unfold this. Meanwhile, let me tell you more about the cases, you see the, let's bring them here. You see the case differences? The right side is Mavic Air, the left side is Parrot's Anafi. And uh, one chose more uh, linear approach that is also re reflected in the shape of the drone. The other one is more of a case. Like this is my hand, this is an average size hand, I believe, maybe a bit I don't know, my, I mean, when I use gym glows, they are large, so maybe that would be an integrator of the hand size. Anyways, um, they have both advantages and inconveniences. The advantage of Parrot's linear design is actually that you can stick it at the right side of, or the left side, whatever, the, you know, side of the, of the back, versus this is more of a midsection guy. And let's see the cover quality, yeah. I believe there's extra enforcement here compared to, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is just a soft case, whereas there is some more of an outer shell on Parrot Anafi's uh, case. All right, I think case discussion, I'm still amazed by the overall weight comparison. You know what, let me be a lazy ass and weigh them all together. I think now it will just tear, yeah, okay. I'm taking it off. I believe I would get rid of that part. So 315, the drone 316, plus its remote gives us a staggering 700 grams, whereas Mavic Air with its remote on top gives us <laughs> almost identical number. Okay, so drone being lighter does not necessarily mean that it's more trans transportable, but 
Of course, when you need to actually carry these on hand, say before release or looking for the perfect spot, then having a lighter drone helps. So putting in cases, DJI's Mavic Air, folding, up, folding. These propellers are easier to fold. And then, sorry, I said DJI Mavic Air. This is how you put it. You just align the propellers with the box. You get rid of this thing here, and it's in the box. You just, you know, just zip it there. Whereas in Paris Anafi, remember, if you need to put this back on, you put that back on, and then, of course, it's easier to fold these guys, but then there will be a small alignment issue with the propellers. You see the case wants you to have the propellers this way, so you just rotate them gently. When they're aligned, you just put it to its case. Okay, um, I think it's time to wrap this discussion up quite fast. Let's go ahead and talk about the chargers. Mavic Air comes, this with, comes with this massive, well, not massive, but larger, larger charging brink. Oh, God, now I need to add the charging brink to the calculation. Okay, the charging brink. Basically, if you include the charging brink, then Mavic Air's total is about 200 grams more heavier compared to just this cable, which is a negligible thing. So back to the proper discussion. Basically, this is the charging cable for Mavic Air. And here is the part I simply hate. This is the proprietary cable. I think that hate came out so, so strong. I'm sorry. I love DJI. I have their Osmo Mobile too. But um, this is actually an interesting thing. I kind of dislike it, whereas we have a USB-C here. Though this Mavic Air came a bit earlier, the USB-C was not as clear standard bearer for drones or any kind of charging technology, but still USB-C, you can just use your iPhone's charger or any other charger you have, that's an advantage. But here you get to have, once you basically use one plug, you get to have two more USB, so you can plug on, plug your remote and your phone here so everything charges at once which is another advantage but again overall portability discussion gained another 200 grams versus nothing on the other side also that i think reflects okay i got obsessed with the weight here but let me weigh the batteries and decide because when you own one of these you also have spare batteries let me see how many grams is the battery of mavic air it Packs 140 grams here compared to Anafi's 127, which is expected, but again, a negligible difference. All right. Whew. I see on my screen that it's already 11 minutes. I will, you know, edit this video so some of it will be chopped, but please don't forget to subscribe to see these birds fly and other related comparison videos. I think I forgot to say subscribe and subscription is somehow important for us. So please do that for me. On top, we were talking about hardware. I think this propeller guards could be considered as part of the hardware. Well, basically uh, Mavic Air does have propeller guards compared to Paradona V because that simply does not have it. Propeller guards are rather easy to install this way or that way. I forgot, but it was rather easy. I already did it. Basically, they're not that heavy. No, I'm not gonna weigh them again. We had already enough weigh in here. Um, but it reflects a major hardware issue, which is the fact that Mavic Air does have obstacle avoidance, whereas with Parrot Anafi, you are truly the pilot. This does not come with an obstacle avoidance, whereas this guy comes with it. For some, it's an issue. For majority of the people, it's not. At least that's what I believe. But when you're using some of the modes, which we will cover in another video, I think the obstacle avoidance is not actually active. But with Parrot, you simply don't get it. So say in the woods, you want your drone to follow you. It's a danger, whereas in open air, it will not make a difference. But this is a consumer grade uh, product. So as everyone mentioned under our videos, I think obstacle avoidance would have made Parity Anafi definitely a better drone than Mavic Air. For now, it requires further investigation and that's why you need to sign up to our channel to see more. Um, 
I think I can wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and here is some nice view for you. This is it. So, first time on camera, two birds kissing. Parrots Anafi and DJI Mavic Air to just be friends. Alright, thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Peace.